Today's demonstration is about the Tupperware 28cm uh, Chef Series fry pan. It's a new addition into our kitchen and already I've fallen in love with it. The features of the fry pan include that it can be used on any type of um, cooktop surface, um, including electric, gas, ceramic and even induction. The fry pan heats up uh, quickly and it cooks evenly. It has a cast hollow handle which uh, ensures that it's cool to touch even when you're cooking. This special non-stick, uh, complete non-stick uh, coating named Eterna coating means that butter and oil is only needed to be used for flavour and it also uh, means that after you've used the fry pan, cleaning the fry pan is a breeze. Today's recipe is a simple fried rice. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it can be made using the Tupperware products, uh, the new fry pan of course, the Turbo Chef and also the large urban micro cooker. I've already cooked the rice uh, just to save some time in this demonstration. Uh, I've used the micro urban large uh, to cook the rice. Um, so what I did was I took 250 grams using my new Tupperware digital scales to weigh the rice and I've completely cleaned the rice with numerous rinse processes. I've popped it then into the bottom of the micro urban large and I added 500 mils of water to that. And then I um, used the rice component, which is actually the top lid, and popped it on and placed it in the microwave for eight minutes. I let it stand for about five and then the end result is this perfect uh, rice ready to use in our fried rice recipe. It's lovely and fluffy um, and perfectly cooked. Now the Micro Urban is another product that's fantastic from Tupperware. It um, is not just for rice, you can cook grains, pasta, uh, steamed veggies in it. We've had steamed chicken, you can do things such as steamed fish as well and many other things. So now that the rice is cooked, I think uh, we'll leave that there to the side and we'll use the Turbo Chef to cut up our um, other ingredients. So I'm going to start with some onion and garlic in the Turbo Chef. I love this Turbo Chef because it means that um, I'm dicing the onions and garlic without any smell and no irritation to my eyes and I can actually control how finely diced I want uh, the onions and garlic to be. And you can see that um, ahead of time I've diced up some bacon ready to go and I've got some chicken diced as well. Now what I'm going to do is pop the blade back into the Turbo Chef and I'm going to actually dice some capsicum. Okay, ready to go. And we're going to move on to a bit of carrot. which now means that everything uh, vegetable wise is, uh, for the recipe has been chopped using the Turbo Chef and you can see how quickly that process was. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the egg. So we'll grab an egg. I'm just going to crack it into the bowl. Heating up the fry pan, just using the spatula, I'm just going to give that egg a little bit of a whisk. And as you might have noticed, I haven't put any oil or butter at all into the fry pan. I will be using a little bit of oil a bit later on, but that's just purely for flavour. Okay, so now I'm just going to pop that egg uh, that I've cracked and gently whisked into the fry pan and just grab my spatula, um, keeping in mind that with any type of non-stick fry pan it's important not to use any um, metal spatulas or scrapers or anything, just keep to the plastic. So I'll just let that egg cook for a little bit. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, brown off the bacon. And getting the chicken ready to go in to the fry pan also. Again, no oil or butter required um, because of the non-stick surface. Okay, the chicken and the bacon is now ready, so I'm going to add in the onions, the capsicum and the carrot. And just fry that up for a little bit. Okay, that's now all cooked and you can see how simply this is just sliding in the bottom of the pan because of that non-stick coating. And time now to add the rice. Okay, that's now ready to go, so I'm going to add uh, the beans that I've chopped. Now, purely just for flavour, I'm going to put in just a dash of sesame oil. And some soy sauce. And the last thing to do is just to fold through the um, egg that we cooked earlier. So here it is, ready to go. I'm just going to pop this into the bowl. Just take note about how easy this um, is coming out of the pan. So I just want to show you that there's nothing stuck to the bottom of this frying pan um, and how we're going to clean it is just literally uh, giving it a wipe out with a cloth. And there we go, it's ready to go next time. So I'm off to work soon, so I'm actually going to uh, place tonight's dinner for me into my heat and serve um, Tupperware container, ready for me just to pop in the microwave when I'm ready to eat dinner um, at work tonight. Okay, so I guess I better be off to work and I'll take my dinner with me.